Hey everybody, Mark here, and I want to give an honest review of the GTEC PLA filament I ordered last month on Amazon. This whole story started around March of 2020. COVID-19 was starting, and a lot of my supplies were getting really low for filament. I mostly printed with Prusament because it printed really well. But the problem with Prusament is on Amazon, it was getting extremely expensive. And I had to find some options because I'm not paying $50 for a roll. So I went and looked at other 3D filaments. So, so looking at other 3D printed filaments, there are a lot to choose from. A lot, a lot. And like a lot of people on Amazon, I look for high reviews. And one that I came across was GTEC, and they had 4,000 reviews, and it seemed like people really liked it, and a lot of people were, there's a lot of reviews about this filament. People were printing gears, to um, bottle cap openers, to skulls. I mean, there was a lot of reviews that people were talking how they liked it, and the price was right. Uh, this filament is $22. You can get it for right at $20. So I picked up a black PLA and a glow in the dark. My first impressions with the filament was it was packed really nicely. A thick plastic vacuum sealed with a desiccant bag. Now this is not standard for all filaments, but it should be. Um, in their ad, they also said it's a tidy windings, tangle free, while it's a mouthful, poor Chinese to English translation. Thanks, Google. But the filament was round really neatly around the spool. Look at this picture. Why is this so important? A poorly wrapped filament can lead to build stops. I've seen this all the time with MakerBot filaments. So now I've printed over a hundred hours on these two spools and I haven't had a jam or really any major issue with a filament. And that's amazing for right at $20 per kilogram. Um, and all my parts turned out really well. So I printed a lot of different parts on these filament spools from face mask covers to a kid's Chewbacca bandolier. Video is coming soon for this, so get excited. A Christmas ornament for our Christmas tree and a large 300 by 300 by 150 millimeter uh, hydroponics. This filament now is in the running for my 100% 3D printed model rocket. I am looking to build a model rocket 16 plus feet tall. I've printed some eight foot tall uh, model rockets now. Uh, but this filament is going through testing to hopefully uh, be used for these model rockets. So I'll send you guys off with watching uh, the eight foot tall 3D printer rocket launch. If you guys got any questions or comments, please leave them down below and happy printing. Yeah, here we go.